Zond 3 was a 1965 space probe which performed a flyby of the Moon's far side, taking a number of quality photographs for its time. It was a member of the Soviet Zond program while also being part of the Mars 3 MV project. It was unrelated to Zond spacecraft designed for manned circumlunar missions Soyuz 7KL-1. It is believed that Zond 3 was initially designed as a companion spacecraft to Zond 2 to be launched to Mars during the 1964 launch window. The opportunity to launch was missed, and the spacecraft was launched on a Mars crossing trajectory as a spacecraft test, even though Mars was no longer attainable. Topic. Spacecraft design The spacecraft was of the 3 MV4 type, similar to Zond 2. In addition to a 106.4 mm focal length F.8 imaging system for visible light photography and ultraviolet spectrometry at 285 to 355 nanometers, it carried ultraviolet 190 to 275 nanometers and infrared 3 to 4 micrometers spectrophotometers, radiation sensors, gas discharge and scintillation counters, charged particle detector, magnetometer, and micrometeoroid detector. It also had an experimental ion engine. Topic. Operational history Zond 3 was launched from Baikonur Cosmodrome on July 18, 1965, at 1438 Coordinated Universal Time, and was deployed from a Tyesley Sputnik Earth orbiting platform towards the Moon and interplanetary space. This was a repeat of a mission that failed in late 1963 intended to test communication at distances equivalent to the distances experienced by Mars and Earth. Zond 3's lunar flyby occurred on July 20 with a closest approach of 9219 kilometers, 5728 miles, approximately 35 hours after launch. 25 visible light photographs and 3 ultraviolet spectra of very good quality were taken of the lunar surface, beginning at 1.24 Coordinated Universal Time and 11,570 km 7 prior to closest approach and ending at 2.32 Coordinated Universal Time and 9,960 km 6 past closest approach, covering a period of 68 minutes. The photos covered 19 million square kilometers, 7.3 million square miles of the lunar surface. Zond 3 proceeded on a trajectory across Mars orbit, but not at a time when planetary encounter would occur. These images were transmitted by radio frequency on July 29 at a distance of 2.25 million kilometers, 1.40 million miles. To test telemetry, the camera film was rewound and retransmitted in mid-August, mid-September, and finally on October 23 at a distance of 31.5 million kilometers, 19.6 million miles, thus proving the ability of the communication system. The subsequent transmissions were also at progressively slower data rates but higher quality. The mission was ended after radio contact ceased on March 3, 1966, when it was at a distance of 153.5 million kilometers, 95.4 million miles. It operated for 228 days, roughly equivalent to the time needed to survive a journey to Mars and exceeding that needed for Venus. Topic: References This article was originally based on material from NASA NSSDC information on Zond 3. Topic. External links. Zond 3 at zarya.info. Soviet moon images at mentalandscape.com.